This is a gentleman called Ryan Best. And this is a fella called Pat Buchanan. I don't you know whether it's natural. It's, what is it? It's if it's. I don't know whether it's nature or nurture, but it is not. But natural. if it is nature, then well, it is natural. But look, that, no, that, no, no, it is an aberration is, of human okay. nature. Well, and this is a Netflix program called High Score. But what do they all have in common? I lost all my copies of Gay Blade in a move from Honolulu to San Francisco. My master copies, my installation, my source code, it was all gone. So I've been searching for it ever since the shipping incident, and that was 15 years ago. If it's out there, it would be momentous. It would be so important and so meaningful to me. Living in the USA in the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s as a gay person must have been pretty horrendous. You had people who were running for president, like Pat Buchanan, for example, who were completely anti-gay. And then on top of that, you had the AIDS disease, which was horrendous. So some people, they took to the streets in protest, and then others found catharsism in things like writing software. For Ryan Best, this came in 1992 with the advent of his game, Gay Blade. Before Gay Blade, Ryan had written a game called Dragon Blade, and this was his opportunity to rewrite that game somewhat and make it fun for the LGBT plus community. In fact, he claims that it was the very first game ever for the LGBT community. As you've heard, the game was sadly lost forever, the installation discs, the source code, the whole shebang, until, well, after a bit of Netflix popularity and also a bit of good help from all the friends online, Jason Scott and a bunch of other people help find it and put it up on the internet. And so, without further ado, I'm going to play it. It's Gay Blade, the world's first gay and lesbian computer game. Copyright 1992 RJ Best. Now, the aim of this game is to rescue the captured Empress Nelda. But of course, you're entering a dungeon in order to get her. So we're here at some sort of doorway and there's a bunch of icons here. I can't make out the text on the bottom left one. So I'm going to ignore that one. Next one is magic. Don't know what that does. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Um, what's this one here? Gay blade roller. All right. Um, why, thank you. 31 gold pieces. Drag queen called Dark. All right. 68 gold pieces. Appreciate it. 53 for Dark. Let's roll again. Twill is the queer. Giving you only 20 pieces. What? There's a clinic and a store. We, we heal them or bury them. Nice. Shylock Shoppy. Looks like you can buy a few things here. So I can buy for each of the players. Well, if I'm on a quest, then I'll get some condoms. But I don't have 25. Press on nails. Get some mace. Can we get some mace? Six gold. That'll do. I think that's me out of gold. Next player. Let's see if I can get some more. I'll spare you the rest of the tedium of getting the inventory for the rest of the other three players. Needless to say, they all have their different capabilities, but um, some interesting things like the condom acts as a shield. So yeah, use your imagination. Click on the door to enter dungeons. Good luck, you'll need it. I don't know, what are all these icons at the bottom do as well? During attack, click attack creatures with enabled weapons. Okay. Uh, no idea what that one does. Click to display magic or cleric panels. Uh, click to display items panel. All right. Let's just go into the dungeon. Turn on some lights, it said. Ah, oh, demon please. <laughs> I 
don't think I'm doing so well. There we go. Let him up. I missed. I don't even know if I killed it or not. <laughs> but I got a gift. And the demon's flea was carrying a lighter. Just a moment of pause, I do find it hilarious how the demon flea crabs here look in no way similar to the giant rock ants of Dragonblade. Anyway, just an observation. So after uh, crawling around this dungeon for a while, I figured that it's probably about a 10 by 10 size. It's not very big. So after traversing what seemed to be hours and hours of nothingness in this dungeon, I uh, stumbled my way around and found that I could, well, get to this point. Sure. Ah, back to the castle. And after some time cleaning up my damaged players, I was back down into the dungeon once again. Duck's been poisoned. <laughs> this whole hitting into the wall happens many times when you're playing it because the wall doesn't actually look that close to me. Um, it looks like you've still got a space to go, but yeah. And here's my TV preacher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, goodness me. Came with some mace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Press on nails, let's have some of them. Come on, let's go. Hallelujah. Get this guy. Hallelujah. More mace. I missed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Press on nails, have some of this guy. Hallelujah. 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 He takes a lot to kill. Can I kill him with Hallelujah. a condom? <laughs> Have some of this purse! Oh. That was sad I wanted to bash him with my purse. Where'd you go? I think I killed him. Dark's life has been claimed by poison. Temporarily dead. <laughs> Raise the dead. <laughs> oh no. Permanently dead. Damn. Ducks to, seems to have come back to life. Fantastic. So I'm not going to take you through the rest of the game because, well it doesn't really get any better. As you can see, it's fairly monotonous and it's um, sort of RPG-esque of earlier in the 80s, if I'm honest with you. Um, the game's other baddies turn out to be uh, FBI agents, um, some nasty thugs. Um, there is also um, KKK Grand Dragons. The, uh, the final boss, which I didn't make it to, is none other than Pat Buchanan. Now Ryan said that he spent a year coding this game, but there are just a few things about that that I don't believe. Like look at this, it says about Windows Dragon Blade on the about screen. And have a look at this, the help, or the severe lack thereof. So there you go, that's Dragon Blade, or Gay Blade, I'm not sure which. But even the most hardcore of drag queen gamers will have a rough ride with this one. Well, that's about it for this Al's Geek Lab. I do hope you've enjoyed our little review of this obscure game and also how it came to be found on the internet. If you liked this video, then be sure to check out the rest of them on my channel and also please subscribe for more good stuff. That's all for now. Thanks very much for watching. Hallelujah.